Hello, everyone. Uh, it's Father Mark. Happy Holy Week uh, and soon to be very uh, holy and blessed Easter. We wish you all great joy during this time. This will be the last of my Lenten videos. Uh, I'm thinking about doing a few more throughout the year, so if you have any ideas, you can just let me know what you think. Uh, we are finishing up our little booklet here with our Lenten booklet, Finding Hope When Life Hurts, and Father Sika on Good Friday talks about what will it matter, that idea of that what we often hear, I live my life with no regrets. Uh, but I'd like to start off, first of all, with a little reflection from my friend, Father Kevin, uh, Kevin Carroll, not Father Kevin Carroll, Kevin Carroll, a moment's pause for gratitude. Uh, I taught Kevin's sons when I was a teacher at St. Lawrence, and we were colleagues as he was at the academy while I was at the middle school. But and one of his stories he tells is about when he was in junior high or middle school, and he, he told a joke uh, about Italians. And, and then he talked about how that joke basically brought a lot of sadness and hurt into his life um, by people who didn't think the joke was so funny, people of Italian heritage. And I think when we talk about no regrets, people who talk about that often, I think what we lose in that is the reality of sin within our lives, the sin within our communities. Because saying that we have no regrets means that anything that I do, I, I leave in the background, I, I leave behind me without worrying about the harm that could have been done to others or to myself for that matter. And to live without regrets means that, well, I live without care for others in a real way. Now, I know a lot of people might disagree with that, but the truth is, is that we all have regrets. We've all hurt someone intentionally or unintentionally. We've all been hurt intentionally or unintentionally. We've all chosen to do the wrong thing. And to regret that and to have regrets over that often means that we look forward to choose the better next time, that it reshapes our lives to where I sit there at, where we, I, all of us, look towards a better place, saying, I don't want to go there again. I would rather remain in goodness and continue to seek that. Because when I have regrets, that means that I can form myself to be the better person, the better man, the better woman, the better child of God. And that's really what our Lenten journey has been about and what we continue to be about. Because we regret the sins that we have committed. But rather than leave them behind and say, oh, they don't matter, we say they matter deeply to God's creation, to the kingdom of God. And so we come to him on this Good Friday, this Holy Saturday, this Easter Sunday, to celebrate our liberation from those regrets. Because it isn't that I don't have regrets. It's that I know that I can be healed of them. That is our Christian faith. That is what we are called to do. Uh, once again, I wish you a very holy and blessed Easter. And uh, please continue to pray for me and pray for all your priests. God bless.